Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when working with AutoMapper. Our viewer is facing an error that says, Mapper not initialized. Call initialize with appropriate configuration. Let's dive into the details and uncover the root of this problem. So what exactly is happening here? The viewer is trying to submit data to a database, but is met with an invalid operation exception. This error suggests that the AutoMapper instance hasn't been properly initialized. We'll explore the controller code and the mapping profiles to identify where things might be going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error message indicates that the auto mapper is not initialized. This typically happens when the mapping configuration is not set up correctly before attempting to use the mapper. To resolve this, you need to call the initialize method of AutoMapper with the appropriate configuration. This is usually done in the startup configuration of your application. In your case, you should ensure that the mapping profiles for company and company form view model are registered during the application startup. Here's an example of how to do this. Additionally, avoid using the static mapper.map methods if you're using dependency injection. Instead, inject iMapper into your controller. Finally, ensure that your mapping profiles are correctly defined and that the properties match between your view model and domain model. This will help prevent any mapping errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of the mapper not being initialized, use an instance of the mapper created through configuration instead of the static map method. The preferred method in recent versions is to work with the iMapper interface. If you're using a dependency injection container, register iMapper to resolve instances. If you're not using a DI container, consider creating a Mapper Factory class to handle Mapper instance creation and configuration. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're facing the error mapper not initialized, it could be due to using an older version of automapper extensions.microsoft.dependency injection. To fix this, update to the latest version, like v7.0 from NuGet. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.